Hello there everybody and welcome back for some more Deadhead Friend. Last time we took down Juju Judy and this time around I think we're going to Creepy Hollow if I'm not mistaken. First and foremost we have these new things at our disposal. These are going to be the fast travel pads. These will come in handy a lot later on especially for side quests that we may or may not end up doing. Dr. Steiner has set up a series of manholes that Fred can use to quickly get from place to place. Once unlocked, Fred can use a manhole to travel to any other unlocked manholes. Uh, press the triangle button to enter the map of Hope Falls and press the X button to travel to an unlocked manhole. Eh, pretty simple stuff. For right now, I think the only manhole we have would, of course, be um, Steiner's deal. So, once you click on that, you can hit X and then I have to use keyboard for this. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, I want to let everybody know real quick that I... I essentially, um, I essentially set up my controller to work with my PSP thing here, my PSP emulator here thing here, but, uh, you know, I mean, everything's okay, everything seems to be working just alright, it's just, I can't seem to get analog controls to work, so I'm gonna have to use a keyboard for, you know, analog situations, so that's gonna be fun fun, ain't it? I don't know why I'm going this way for, which kinda sucks, cause like, since I have to use my keyboard, I have to like reach over my hand, my left hand, my right hand, my, actually my right hand, just to, you know, touch the keyboard when I need to use an item or, you know, do something specific that I would need to use those D-pads for. Also, real quick, just want to let you guys know that we um, will basically end up coming back here probably a couple times. And, well, that depends on what I'm doing exactly. Because, uh, I just want to say real quick that I'm not entirely too sure whether or not I'm going to be uh, doing all the side quests or not. So just bear in mind that it may happen or may not. Also, this took me fucking forever to figure out. Uh, actually, I want to show you guys something real quick. Well, the thing is, if you fall down here, you'll end up in water and then you'll basically drown to death so if you come down I'll show it off why not if you come down this way uh, this will take you down a path and it'll just automatically take you down here now you're probably thinking to yourself is there any way I could just get through here by going through the water no absolutely fucking not you can't do nothing there's nothing you can do here at all so it's it's basically worthless now also, another thing I told you guys to know, I did end up actually beating this game on my own. So, and I've been doing a lot of side quests on my own, so I do know where a lot of things are at. And like I said, I'll, I'll mainly be doing side quests uh, pretty much only for the fact that um, to get money. So, if I do end up doing them all, then I do them all. If I don't, I don't. Now, this is a thing that I thought we have to come back to, for, you know, way later. No. I guess there's something else I want to show off too, just for the hell of it. Why not? But yeah, essentially this took me freaking forever just to figure out what I was supposed to do here. Actually, I had a hard time. I think I ended up looking it up, dude, and I was like, "What the fuck do I do?" I don't remember. That's the one thing though is I always tend to forget that I even have heads to begin with. But yeah, if you come over here, you can actually jump down. Oop, I fell. Well, essentially, yeah, I'm dead. There's there's no way out of this. There's no there's nothing to stand on. I'm just I'm fucking completely gone. <laughs> but yeah, if you actually if you maneuver it correctly, you can actually get yourself up there without having to use the corpse head. I've done it, so believe me, I have. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about here. But yeah. Also, sorry it's been so long since I've actually continued Deadhead Fred. It's not that I hate the game by any means. It's just one I played it so much and I beat out my own time, and then of course. You know, with all the other things going on that I wanted to do, and eventually just becoming sick and not really wanting to actually record anything in the first place, that's kind of what happens. Now, these are the executioners. I think they're weak against. I want to say they're weak against Corpse Head, but I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, they are. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just having a hard time actually remembering how to play this game. <laughs> it, it's so different than when you play it on an actual system that, you know has every fucking button function possible that can work with it. <laughs> well, well, well. Would you get a load of you? Uh, yeah, you can drop the dukes, laddie. I'm not in the mood for fighting. 
Have you what passes for entertainment in this nightmare? Because I ain't laughing. I... I can see that. I see you got one of the executioner's heads there. Any idea what this one does? This is a shrunken head. You put this on, and you'll shrink to the size of a wee little leprechaun. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, if you'll pardon the pun, and give it a try? You see? Tabbed useful, really. Oh, why, at that size, you can go into places you normally couldn't. Pipes, hollow logs, rat holes. You see? <laughs> Fun, ain't it? <laughs> Kinda like Alice in Wonderland. Only without the eat me part. <laughs> well, speaking of fairy tales, since you live here, why don't you make like Mother Goose and tell me a story? What's the deal with this horseman character? As the horseman first appeared, the night after Pitt brought one of his boys out here to dispose of him. Left the body down by the lake. But there were no head attached. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Well, the body disappeared, and right after that, the horseman showed up, riding on the big ghost horse of his, flames shooting out of his nose. Yeah, the horse, that is. The horseman, well, he ain't got a nose to speak of, of course. <laughs> I need to find this horseman. Where is he? Find the horseman? Nobody finds the horseman. He finds you. Listen, you mick bastard. I don't have a choice. He's got his lousy mitts on an acquaintance of mine, a doctor that might be the only person who can fix me up. If you want to go searching for the horseman, you're on your own. I'll be off now, but I'm sure we'll see more of each other while you're in the hollow. <laughs> if you survive, of course. <laughs> Ta! Okay, now we have the Shrunken Head, which this one is not one that you are going to use. You decide when to use it, of course, but it's not one that you can use anytime that you want to. So the Shrunken Head allows Fred to shrink down and enter small areas, press the circle button to perform a roll. Rolls are good for squeezing past obstacles and dodging attacks. While rolling, press the square button to perform a rolling uppercut, or X. It doesn't actually specify that. Um, I think, essentially, we need the key for this door. Yep. It's locked. As I figured. Uh, most likely throughout this game, I'm going to be using the R button for my camera turning because, you know, having to constantly hit the fucking keyboard will be a pain in the ass, so... Yeah, this is going to be great. I know, I know. If I would have had full analog control, everything would have been fine, but... Nope, nope, that didn't happen at all. Alright, so I think that's the end of this section right here. I keep hitting X. I keep hitting freaking X for things. I don't know why. What have I been playing that makes me need to hit X? I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, I know what it is. It's, uh, Catherine. That's what it is. Yeah, I've had that game for fucking I don't know how long, and I finally decided to now play it. After waiting forever. Oh, yeah, again, these things, those sticky things are here, so we'll see those a lot later. So now they're basically telling us about missions and what have you. Uh, mission givers have fireflies both around their heads. Green means available. Yellow means that you've done it. Or you have something to turn in. Now, yeah, because like green... Uh, even if you finish a person's side quest, they still could be technically considered green. Now, most, not all characters will have an item that you could trade in. So if, for instance, if we have a gold worm, we could trade him the gold worm for $970. So it's a pretty decent... Uh, thing right there. So we got a mission brief here. So I seem to have misplaced a few positions in the forest. My tools and a particular item I recently start, I mean acquired. If you find them, I can make it worth a while. Leaf, the thief, thief shack, and creepy hollow. So they tell you where they're at and they sort of tell you like what you kind of need. I mean, not really. I think there's like five different items that you need. It's like a lock pick and uh, God, what else? A diamond, I think it is. And a few others. Either way, most likely, 
most likely throughout the entirety of this, you'll end up finding most, if not all, of the items that you would need. Now, there's at least one, maybe two items in the Broken Bridge that you can get. Also, I want to let you guys know that there's not really a whole lot down near the river. Trust me, I checked in my own playthrough uh, with the idle head. <laughs> so, I know for certain there's nothing really down there. Alright, so these are... What, these are basic zombies? Oh, that's another thing I wanted to... Um, showcase as well was the uh, the inherent combo system that is in this game. There are different like for instance right there there are technically different combos and I'll show that off when I get a chance to not actually get my ass you know freaking beaten down. I think there's like a, a few different things you can do. I'm also taking a hefty amount of damage here. Mainly because I'm dumb but uh you know, I don't. I, I I'm so used to mind one playthrough now that this is just. To me, this is much different <laughs> than what I'm used to. I don't know if I explained this earlier, but you can actually stun lock enemies. Oh yeah, and I think I do technically have the rage. Well, I mean, of course, I have three bars on this, so I just don't really feel like using it. Really, no use. It's no use. But anyway, I want to show off the combo system here. That way, uh, show it off better. What I've what I've learned from it. So you for for basic Fred, you know, basic, you know, jarhead, you have your normal square attack. That's your three square combo. You have your square square and then X, which is just kinda of like an elbow attack, and then you have your square X, and then you can do square right after, or square X X. Or we can do I think Let's see, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes... Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Uh, that's it. But you can't do X to start off a combo because X is to, you know, the jump. <laughs> so, it's a very weird system, I know, but it works. It works. Sometimes I get myself stuck in it, though, whenever I'm doing the X combos. But, yeah, that's just what happens. But anyway, there's, like, nothing really down here. There's that guy over there. But I'd have to kind of, like, you know sort of kill myself just to try to get over there and I don't really feel like it's worth it really nah I don't think so I mean yeah he's wearing you know a white suit but that doesn't mean that he's just inherently better than the rest I mean that different suits might mean differences and strengths I'm not really too certain on that one I they all feel the same to me so it don't matter all right this place can give can give you a hard time, I think. This place can give you a really hard time. Now, also, I want to let you guys know real quick. If it says... Well, this one says Big Band that matches. But typically, if you find an item in like a darker-looking sort of uh, suitcase kind of thing. Or just in this, you know, an item box or whatever you want to call them. Uh, typically, they seem to be more valuable than those that, you know, are more light on color. So just... Keep your eyes out for that. But again, like you can press X to do this. You don't have to press square. There's an item right here. So make sure you roll back. There you go. We got a nose ring again. I thought that was supposed to be the log pick. No, I see it's over there. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to remember how to get to that fucking thing though. Ah, here we go. Now one thing I do when I when it comes to the shrunken heads, especially in this part right here, is I just do this. I just roll toward the wall and then I jump fucking seriously okay now it's just uh, yeah it, it's a pain in the ass honestly they actually, I don't really think we need to technically roll here oh there we go all right so we got a battleship figurine I don't know why I'm not getting particularly what I want one of the many items I think uh, also I want to show you guys you can check your deal here I think it's in your notebook yeah here it is so they sometimes again they for the most part whenever you accept missions they'll actually tell you in the mission thing here um you know what you exactly need so for instance we need the thief's gear screwdriver lockpick stethoscope black double bag and a diamond to return them to the thief and once you know that's all finished they'll cross itself off and we'll be done with it we'll be done with that thing for good once the time comes of course also, you may hear me kind of 
sound a little bit more congested or maybe even more nasally than usual. And again, that's because I've been sick, I've been down with the sickness lately, and I'm, I'm actually freaking tired of it. You know, I hate it. Because I wanted to do a... I started working on another guide of mine. I actually finished it before I even started commentary. Because I finished in like seven videos or so. So, spoiler alert, it's a lollipop chainsaw. I'm very hard. Another fucking nose ring? Are you kidding me? I think it was supposed to be a nose ring. Like, I'm sure that it's in here somewhere and I fucking died. But I, I'm, I'm pretty positive that either the lockpick or the screwdriver is in here because I remember having a hard damn, damn time trying to get the fucking thing. Why do I have to... Oh, yeah, you have to get all these again. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes this game is, you know, merciless, but for the most part, it's still pretty nice with, you know, what you need to do. So, for the most part, I think it's A-okay. I'm not going to fucking bother with that. Uh, a part of me is telling me that I really should, and then the other part of me is like, no, don't. <laughs> Now the freaking, like, th there is a thief's item in here somewhere. I, I know it for sure. Because I remember looking all over the damn place at that fucking thing. And then I came back here and I was like, oops, here. Oh, yeah, that jump right there, that was scary. This might not be it. That's it, that's it. Well, that's that's one of them, though. That doesn't mean that it's... And that might not have been what I wanted exactly. I don't know why that would have took me forever to find to begin with. But knowing me, I wouldn't be surprised. But, yeah, also I wanted to explain... Um, different different heads have different combos as well which I mean that's not surprising no but I should probably show those off as well oh fuck did I ever show this off that's what uh, the finishing attack does not only finishing attack but whatever you want to call it uh, what what should we call rage rage yeah that's what it's like the rage attack that's what that's what that does I think we can also get like a yeah we also get like the other ones too which I should show off the corpse head as well okay so here we go You must be the horseman. Do tell! What gave you away, wise guy? Oh, here we go. Alright, so now we're gonna fight the horseman. But not for not for long, honestly. This doesn't really last too long. Oh man, it'd be great if I had, you know, a fucking camera reset. Whenever I wanted it. So what I say is I'd say just, you know, get a few hits in. Oh fuck. There's a way to do this. Uh, do we even bother finding it? No, I think we're kind of forced to. Regardless. Yeah, that's right. We just basically just beat the shit out of them. And there you go. Oh, well. I probably don't even have to worry about commentary there. Either way. Okay, so that's pretty much... The first little fight that we deal with. Uh, later on, his fight will be a lot longer than that. So Now also, in here, I think... I don't think there's any tools that are out of the way. But this next part is very irritating. Because we have to use these mouse traps, As you can see, to sort of get us... Uh, yeah, there is one in here. I think that's like the only one. We have to use these mouse traps to get to our place that we need to go to. So... If you take the wrong one, the game will kill you. So be very careful. And when you do, when you do die, uh, I should let you guys know that when you die, you have to start this entire section all over again. So don't die. <laughs> all right. The hell is the exacto? I think it's this one. It's not. No. I didn't think so. Of course. Like, I was gonna fucking remember. But yeah, like I said, 
You see, you have to you have to start it all over from the beginning. So make sure you grab the lockpick every single time that you come here. All right, grab this, and then don't take that one. Don't take that one, and you want to take this one. Now it's a matter of like trying to remember like which one it was. Oh, there's two of them actually in here. There's a screwdriver and the lockpick. Oh shit. Did we, yeah, we took the middle one, didn't we? That's right. Oh, I'm trying to remember like. That's probably death. Well, I don't know. I mean... Ah, who cares? We'll take this one then. This one's not death. Okay, good. Yeah, I can sort of... Like, I've done this so many damn times, I can sort of figure it out. Now, I don't know how to get to the top of that stump. I don't... I don't know. I've never been able to. I've, even if I tried every single one, I feel like I wouldn't be able to. Oh, God, this place. Yes, you can visit the head shop. I know. I think everyone knows this by now. Oh, boneheads. They're weak against... Yeah, I think they're weak against Jarhead, actually, to be honest. Alright, there we go. There's only two that ever spawn here, ever. So, like, whenever you come here, just bear in mind that typically whenever you fight these guys, there will be, like, at least two of these motherfuckers. God damn, I'm taking a... Oh, well, no, there's a third one. I forgot about him. Well, usually I only see two, so I figured that might be why. But then again, I never actually stay here for that long anyway, so that's probably why I never think about the third guy. Or I'm just a blatant liar, just trying to fuck over everybody's, you know, game. Yeah, right there, that's my bread and butter combo that I do. It's it's an easy stun lock, it's just square XX. Easy stun lock, you can keep these guys down for a good while. Uh, this right here, this is a fishing point. Uh, you don't, we don't know how to fish. It's funny, it's like, you don't know how to fish. You know, maybe Fred probably does, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that will come into play later. And I guess since we're in Creepy Hall, I might as well show off some of the side stuff we can do here. Now, this is the Feather Dome. And basically, this place is... It's pretty much a cockfight pit, practically. Feather so, dome. yep. What the hell? Can't hurt to take Why not? Let's, let's go take a look around and see what we got. Like yeah, basically, you can... You can bet out. on, like, who would win a match or whatever. And, you know, all that good stuff. Now, the only way to actually get this thing to go, you know, to actually go in is you'd have to have the doll head, or the dummy head, my bad, so that way you could talk to the guy and initiate, you know, the bets and what have you. So, we'll have to come back here later or come back to another Feather Dome thing later and then, you know, do all this stuff Interesting again. Sport. I guess. Maybe I should consider getting a piece of Sorry, it's kind of hard to talk like while they're talking at the same time, like trying to explain. And also, you know, what have you. <laughs> trying to pay attention to them too, because it's hard not to. This game, this game to me makes it hard not to actually want to pay attention to it. But yeah, like you can check this board over here and see things. Like you can check the, you know, controls and what have you. And then, of course, you know, this is a guy you need to talk to, but, uh,. We scare the living shit out of him every time we walk up to him, so... Yeah, let's not. That's actually, like, the first technical person I think you could probably meet that's human, that's not Steiner. So that's that's pretty interesting right there. For those that are wondering, there's other people in the game, you know, there is. There certainly is. It's just, uh, you don't... Well... You don't really ever interact with them as much unless you have the dummy head, which will come into play later. Again, that comes into play later as well. I've said that a thousand times, but I'll say it a thousand times more until we actually get to the goddamn place. Hey, yeah, that's why I might essentially you. just go ahead and, you know, try my best to beat. Did you see that? Oh, they're still moving. Okay. That's why I might just try my best to essentially just beat the game and not work on all the other side stuff. You know, you guys could do all that on your own and look that stuff up. Because cause nowadays, there is actual walkthroughs for this fucking game. Unlike back then, when we didn't have shit. So, thank God for that. The uh, Usually whenever you buy items, uh, typically... The reason why buying items is a thing is so that way you can make other things with it. I don't know how to explain it. Early, early talent competition held by Moses' followers. Ah, oh, this is gonna be weird. 
But I, I, I'm selling pretty much everything. I have no need for these damn things at all. I really wish I could use, I could use, you know, the analog stick for selecting yes or no. But no, you have to use D-pad for all this stuff. So I'm so used to like how I. Oh man, you could tell I'm just messing up just entirely. I'm selling off everything because I don't really care. Again, if you guys want to see this stuff for yourself, you can either just, you know, emulate the game because I'm sure half of you probably fucking would. Or, you know, go have a PS Vita or a PSP and buy the game, essentially. You can buy it on uh, PlayStation Store uh, via the Vita, of course. So, let's see. Reanimator, yes. Your healing rate is greatly increased while wearing the jar head. Thank God. Well, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if we can heal already. You know? I don't think so. That's why it was kind of bugging me about it. Alright, what missions do you have available? He's got glass keys and carp corpse head, which has already been turned in, of course, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. Let's do the glass keys one. So, Fred, there was once a secret elite society Hope Falls, the Order of the Crystal Noggin, the, the symbol of the Order's beautiful glass globe, which is locked away in the mausoleum nearby. Every elder of the society carried a glass key, and every key was required to unlock the skull. All the members are dead now, except for me, that is. And I need to retrieve this, the skull to keep it safe. The society members wore the key around their necks. You can find all six corpses there. Probably scattered all over town and retrieve the keys. I can finally get the skull. How about it? Yep, sure. Did you unearth that from... I must have it. Yeah, usually he'll say things like that after you get done with the worms. I don't... I don't know... And typically, whenever I get a worm, I don't even know either. I I never pay any damn attention to these fucking things. Now, here's one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna continuously do is I'm gonna continuously walk in to uh you know a fast travel point or click on it. That way, I just in my head I have it active because I don't know if you know it deactivates or not at all. So yeah, kind of worries me. Oh, right here I think it's the pool hall if I'm not mistaken. Should be. Get the damn thing. Yeah, this might be. I, I know I should have waited for it to actually pop up, but yeah. This is the pool hall. Here you can play pool. I guess I'll show it. Why not? I'll show off a little bit of it. Like a few seconds and then I'll just stop. Sure. And then I'll just... I don't know. Six bucks, I guess. Alright, let's see. So I guess he goes first. and Yeah, it's basically just basically just pool. Ah, here we go. Uh, let's see. You do a touch shot. How do I... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm doing the... Also, I'm not very good at pool anyway. So, did I fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up. I'm not... I can't. With these controls, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And plus... I don't know what I'm fucking doing with the actual in-game controls anyway, so... Fuck that. Yeah, that's pretty much the basis of Creepy Hollow. I mean, this is the only access point you get, so it's kind of a very short mission. There's our first glass keys. Not a hard find. Uh, there's a lot of them in town, so we'll get those when we get to them. And, like I said, I'll, I'll try my best to show them off. Now, my question is... What the fuck is this here for? I know it's gasoline, you can use the corpse head, but where do you put the gas? I've never yet found where to put it at, to be honest with you. So that's always been a thing that's confused the hell out of me. Alright, what do we got now? Cutscene or no? Or just showing off the fact that we're here. Also, if you kill a worm while trying to pull it out of a hole, I don't know if I explained this last time. Oh god, this part. Yeah, uh, great. <laughs> I hate this one. Yeah, if you pull out a worm and you accidentally kill it or whatever, or even if you pull it out and it's just, you know, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Either way, uh, it will respond, so you will always have, op you know, the opportunities. This is what happens when you don't have... Right, I'm going to show up our, our, our circle there. This is what happens when you don't fucking have, you know, analog control so I can just, you know, set my D-pads properly. That and I'm just bad. There we go. And dead. Luckily, I get plenty of red worm juice, so I'm not too afraid to use a lot of it. I mean, really, you probably honestly shouldn't, but, you know. 
And there's there's also a max uh, limit limit here of that as well. So just keep in mind that there can be times where you'll actually fuck up. Oh yes, we haven't even done worms yet, have we? To catch a worm, it's happened to hold the square button to fill the bar to the max. If the bar empties, the worm escapes. If the shuffle is too high, it gets ripped in half. Fear buttons, fear button presses allow the stress bar to cool down. So essentially, just keep tapping square, or you know, not just tap it, but hold it. Wait for the bar to turn like greenish, and then you know, hold it again. There you go, easy, easy stuff. So just every time that it gets too red, let go. But essentially, you want to hold it, not tap it. Because that was the one mistake I think I made when I first was playing, was I kept holding instead. Um, I have the corpse head on. Why am I not allowed to do the thing, you know, the counterattack? I don't know. There we go. All right. But anyway, I should probably go ahead and end off the video here because we're a little far in. Uh, basically, you have to get this thing to turn on eventually. Yeah, I'll let Fred uh, go ahead and heal himself up here. Don't jump in the water. You will die. You will die for good. But next time, we're going to head into the the wood shop factory thing here and just fucking get mauled, I'm sure. Oh, I hate this place so much. But anyway, I'll see you guys then. So, as always, take care, everybody.